Welcome back to ITS 129. Let's take a look at users and privileges. Uh, make sure that you have your MySQL started, right? Your MySQL um, started here, yeah? Okay. And then um, this is what we're gonna do. Uh, for assignment four, I have a text file. And all this file does is create two databases, seed and car. And then it creates a table in each and it puts a couple of records in each. That's it. Yeah. So I'm just going to copy all of this. Come to my MySQL installation, click on PHP MyAdmin. What that does is again, kind of brings you home, right? Then I'm going to click on the SQL tab and I'm going to paste and then I'm going to run. Yeah. So now I have a car database and a C database. Now, by default, what it does is if I click on car and I click on privileges, who's ever the users, right? The main users kind of generally end up in here. They have access. Okay. But what we want to do today is we want to show that, um, that, you know, you can create users and as creating a user, you can deny them from seeing one or more databases. Okay, so the first line is security in the database, right? So what I'm gonna ask you to do is I'm gonna ask you to create two new users. So I'm gonna click one with Dale, right? Any host, I give him a password. You gotta do this now, you gotta do a password, okay? And then initially don't give them any rights, right? Initially don't give them any rights but then go ahead and click on go, okay? And then after you've created Dale and you've not given them rights, let's go do it this way. I'm gonna click on the database tab and I'm gonna type in car. Is that what I said over here? I said Dale will have um, to the car database, that's right. So I'm gonna just type in car over here, click on go, and then I'm gonna click on data and structure. Yeah, I don't give them any administrative rights. And then I go, okay, cool. Then we go there and do that again. Now, PHP my admin, user accounts. This time you're gonna do your name. So I'm gonna just use Rihanna, okay. Again, any host password. Remember the passwords now, it's very important. And then again, no rights. Just give them like this, right? No rights. Yeah. Then you can click on a database. And then for you, I'm going to say give them access to seed. Okay. All the rights over here, no admin rights. And I click on go. Now let's go and see if this works. Well, you can kind of check it here in a navigation pane. So if I click on car, and I click on privileges, I do see Dale and Root. Root is kind of the global guy, right? The global admin. Don't change Root, right? And then there's Seed. And when I come over here for privileges, I see Rihanna, your, your name, and Root. Now, to prove that this works, you can log out. Yeah. And I'm going to type in Dale and my password, whatever, your, whatever password you gave me, right? And I'm going to type in my password, click here, and I should see the car and the information scheme. Information scheme was kind of a, um, a administrative database that comes with all your installations, right? So I don't see C because I'm Dale. Then I'm going to log out. Then this time I'm going to put in your name. Again, I use Rihanna. And again, I type in the password for Rihanna. And I'm going to click on go. And then see, so Rihanna doesn't see seed or some of the other databases. I mean, doesn't see car and the other databases here, right? So, you know, if I wanted to, just for your information, if I wanted to, um, you know, assign them that, then what I would have to do is I would have to come in here. Yeah. I would have to come to my PHP user accounts. And then I click on say Dale. And I say over here and global privileges, I'm gonna click on here, here, structure and stuff like that and click on go. 
Yeah. Now let's go and see if C can see me as Dale. See, so now I'm over here. So I can see C now as well as car because I gave myself administrative um, capabilities. Now for this assignment, make sure that you provide the screen prints that show me that you did all of these things, right? That your name can have access to seed and that's it. Dale can have access to car and that's it. That you did create the accounts, right? Those kinds of things, right? So I see maybe about four or five screen prints, okay?